MailChimp landing page tutorial create a high converting landing page for free hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today i will be showing you guys how you can build your own landing page using MailChimp and how you can connect it to your own domain and you can do all of this for free using MailChimp and the great part about this is that i'm going to be showing you tips and tricks focusing on making sure that you have a converting landing page so you want to make sure that your customers go down your sales funnel and complete their purchases to increase your sales and your revenue so let's get into it now i have already logged on to my mailchimp account if you don't have one already simply sign up using your email address once you have completed your sign up this is going to be your dashboard and we're not going to be focusing on the email marketing campaigns right now and i already have a video up on how you can build a customizable template that you can send over and over so check that video out if you are looking for something related to sending a automated email but now we're going to be focusing on creating a landing page so to get started all you have to do is click on create on the top left over here and once you click on create you have uh, these different options on the top and we're going to be clicking on landing page now you have your landing page name and you have the audience that you want it to uh you know access so you'll be able to organize your audience based on contacts who sign up from your landing page so i will just uh, enter my landing page name so let's say I am focusing on selling maybe a very standard or maybe a very iconic product in my uh, website and I want to create a landing page promoting that. But I want you guys to keep a few things in mind before we get into building this. Number one, landing pages should focus only on one thing. Landing pages are supposed to have a specific goal. So your goal could either be increasing the sales of a specific product or a specific new uh, drop. It could be increasing the number of signups that you get. It could be to get more viewership on your products page on your actual website. So you want to make sure it's a very specific goal. For me, for this landing page, my goal is to increase the sales of my iconic shoe on my website. So that is why I'm naming it this. It could be any specific purpose, but make sure it's one goal. Your landing page can't be a mumble jumble of a bunch of different products or things or call to actions. No, it should give the customer the back to back idea you know of getting back to a specific goal so you guys can see over here these are the basic templates available for free on mailchimp so you have a couple of different ones you have some basic layouts as well these are the layout ones and these are the basic uh you know pre-existing ones with images and whatnot so I like to use both kinds of templates, but uh, depending on the kind of product you're promoting, you want to select a template accordingly. So I want to promote a product and uh, for me, I think uh, this kind of promote product one would look the best. If you're looking to uh, increase the number of subscribers in your mailing list or if you have a different goal, then select a different template to get started with. So if lead generation to get more people to sign into your email subscribers you can use this template or this one which is going to be a lot more helpful for you but I'm promoting product so this is the template that I'm going to select and now we're going to get started with building our landing page so first off we want to enter our logo I'm going to add my logo from here and I'm going to resize it to be very tiny because I don't like that large size like so and i'm going to click on save and close the next thing is this specific uh headline so uh i'm going to add a very nice headline for my product they are coming back or quadro eight maybe that's the name of my shoe i'm just you know creating something creative so uh, quadro eight might be the name of my shoe are coming back and i'm going to click on save and continue i think the font size is a little big so i'm going to select it once more and i'm going to resize it a little because i want it to be big but not uh, as big as it previously was i'm going to go with 36 size font i think it looks good now and i'm going to save and continue now after that 
Now, with any landing page, include as many call to actions as you reasonably can. So make sure you keep the word reasonably in mind. But you want to create call to actions that are easily accessible, that, you know, inspire the customer to go down the sales funnel and buy the product. So now I'm going to add some information about the product. So first, I actually don't want to add information. I want to add uh, a image section so people can I'm going to remove this text block so people can actually see the product. So for that, I can click on image groups because I want to add multiple different images. Uh, I want to add two images. You can go into your settings. You can choose the layout of how you want to add them. You also have rounded corners and box shadows if you want to apply those as well. But I just want to upload my images. And I'm just going to VecTZ to get a royalty-free image. You can obviously use your own images. So we have this image, I'm just downloading this. Once I have this, I'm just going to take one or two more images that are similar. And now I'm going to go back into my landing page editor and start uploading my images. So I can click on upload on the top right, go into my downloads and begin uploading this like so. And now I can insert the image on my landing page. Now with any kind of product you want to make sure that it is presented in a good way so make sure the images that you are using are good high quality and you're fitting them in the blocks accordingly so you don't want an image that is looking weirdly cropped or it looks off so make sure you're following all of those aspects as well we're gonna let these upload and below that i'm going to save and close and start adding my text so i want to add some text below this which is going to be very short so i want to add a short text uh, talking about the product so the wait is over save and continue and now i'm going to select the second image i'm waiting for the upload to be completed like so i'm just uploading these images and you can close this section they're going to upload in the background so I'm just going to wait for these to be uploaded. And below that, I have my call to action button. This is the buy now button, and it's going to link to your web address. And you're just going to copy and paste your web address. Now, I was telling you guys how the images should fit. So you guys can see this image is a lot larger than this one in size. So I'm going to select this image, click on edit on the right side of my screen. And once I click on edit, I want to resize the image. So you can choose to do this on another platform. You can crop it if you want. You can resize it. And I'm just going to go on ahead, rotate this. Or if you want, you can keep it as it is. But we're going to crop or resize. And we have this little section over here. We're going to click on save. And I think we're using this image instead. It fits a little better. So I'm just going to continue on. From here and now I have my call to action but so I'm having some issues with these images but I'm going to click on edit once more like so I'm just cropping out the image a little and you guys can see this one has a 6,000 by 4,000 and I can just add those dimensions to just make it fit I can just click on edit and I can add 4,000 by 6,000 so we have our crop completed. Now below that I've entered, you know, some basic text. Then you have your button. Now in your button, make sure to add the web address of your website, wherever is the buy now page. So you're going to lead to the product page. Below that we have more product details. I'm going to remove these sections for now because we are, uh, we've already added, you know, the product images, but below that you want to add as many images and call to action so what i recommend is just adding another image group like so and i like to not have such you know dividers the dividers are a little too much for me so i'm just going to remove those usually you can add background images in your dividers and then we have customer reviews then we have the faq and what i'm gonna do from here i'm just gonna save and close this for now but so just continuing on, I'm going to add some more images as well, like these two from here, and I can just, you know, add those. I can click on browse, click on insert, then click on browse, and then insert it like so. Then I like to add another call to action button. So you're going to go into blocks, click on your button and drop it over here. 
and this is just a buy now button you can design it according to your, your own preference then you have your customer reviews so i don't have any customer reviews but i do recommend you add those if you don't have any you can remove it but because i don't have any i'm removing those but you want to make sure to add those and then you just have your faq section so once this has been completed you can click on preview on the top right and see what it's currently looking like i think it looks pretty decent and now i'm just going to save and continue and once you save and continue it has been created now uh you guys can see this is the url that you're gonna get if you want you can link this to your own domain name so you can click on edit url and click on use a custom domain click on custom domain and you can click on add and verify domain and you can verify your domain and add it or you can even search for new domains on mailchimp and find different available domains that are suitable for your landing pages you can also click on connect your domain and use their ten dollar premium upgrade to connect to your own pre-existing one but now our landing page has been created and we will just go ahead and take a look at what it's looking like so this is our page and we are just going to click on this and I'm going to click on publish now. And once I've clicked on publish, this is live, I can click on share your page and this is our landing page. So it looks pretty decent. We have two call to actions. It's short, but you know, this is the available information that we had. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.